everyone. In this tutorial, we will be taking apart and reassembling the QJ 4x4. And this has a similar mechanism to the Rubik's brand 4x4. Um, I don't know what version, but it's the second or third version. So if you need that one, this you might want to stay here. So to begin, rotate the top layer 45 degrees like this and pop out these two edge pieces just like that. Yeah, and you may need to use something like a flathead screwdriver to pry it out because, yeah, it can hurt your finger if you do that. Take out these corners. These. And, yeah, you just keep taking it apart and just start turning it and everything will come out. Okay, now that we have done the easy part of disassembling it, now we gotta reassemble it. And the core looks like this, pretty similar to a Rubik's brand 4x4. Hold on. So, I got a corner here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they look very similar. I'm not sure if it's a knockoff or not, but yeah. Okay, so if you wanna be very adventurous, you can even unscrew this and then open up the core. You might not even want to do that because that would be a pain to put back together. And if it's not good enough, it could lock up. Okay, now, I want you to sort out the eight corners because we will need to put those back together in the salt position. But you can leave everything else mixed up. As long as these corners are in their correct spots when it's assembled, it will be solvable. But if you put it in random positions, it, there is a 67% chance that it will be unsolvable. So... Some of these to the side. Now make sure the colors face you so that you can see them easily. Alright, kind of a hair and there's not a lot of space here, but yeah. Okay, now let's get started. Take a center here. Take three more. Just put them on. Yeah, and sometimes it may get caught on it. But that's what keeps that inner layer in alignment. But it's pretty simple technique, but it's that's why I can't corner cut. That's why I got some Shang Shao 4x4s, which are, which are about the same price as this, and the quality of them are much better. This one, quality is okay. So, get it like this. Now, very carefully tape these other ones. Now, you can um, tape them, but you got to lightly tape them in. If you do, do make sure you don't take off the stickers, but um, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to take off the stickers. But when my Terramix fell apart when I first disassembled it, it's a good thing it didn't have stickers because I needed to duct tape it to get some pieces out that fell in because I know it would be a pain to put that together. So that's why um, I did that. And ooh, my parents thought it wasn't going to work, but it was a success. Okay, after you got that in, take two more and put them on top of them. And if you need to, you can push them to the side if you have to. You keep on doing it. And now, when you get to this step, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be putting these in. Alright, you got to basically put them in with the edges. Just like this. Make sure that they don't fall off. Now. Now, we're going to start by taking our first corner, doesn't matter where, which one it is, where it is, <coughs> and how it's flipped. But after this, this is going to decide what the factor is. But if, say, it's just blue and green on the bottom, and they're all flipped right, then it will be solvable. Permutation does not matter on these cubes for corners, because don't forget, these have parodies on them. So yeah, people put that there. Okay, <clears throat> now, what we're going to do now is we're going to do that same thing once again. So, if you if you don't need this part of it, then continue working up until you get to the, the last layer. Don't put anything in yet once you get there, but you can just skip to that part if you need to. But, in case you, don't, you need some help, I'm going to demonstrate for you. 
take this piece, put it in, yeah, take the edges. Okay, now, we need to figure out what corner it is. So, as we can see on the bottom, it's red and yellow, and now we got to find the other one that has red and yellow on it, and here it is. Yeah, we will be flip we will be putting it in like this and now put this part of it in. Oh, yeah, and you gotta be sure that these pieces don't fall because yeah, that can be a pain. So just kind of hold them so that they don't fall off. Oh. Let me just fix this real quick. Yeah, that piece fell off, fell down too. Oh, oh my word, this is taking a while. Okay, now, and I'll just put it. Now, what we're gonna do is carefully set it down. Now they can't go down even if they want to. So, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and sometimes it may not go in, so kind of shift it up just a little bit. Be sure that the pieces don't fall off. Just like that. Now, well, let's get to the next side of it. Now, we have only put in two corners, but now is where we're going to start putting in many more corners. So, Now, let's put it in the next corner now. Let's see. This one, as we can see, has red and blue on it. Let's see. And this one has red and blue, so put that in like that. And it doesn't matter what corner you start with, just as long as they're put in solved. Now we got to put in another corner. This one has red and green on it, and that's right here. Put this edge in. Now let's flip it over. Do that just in case it gets caught. Yeah, it gets caught. Yeah, just to keep it in alignment. Pretty simple technique, but I don't. Um, if I design one, I'll just use a core. Okay, so we got this in. Okay, it shouldn't be too hard for you to do that. It's this last part where you're probably going to need some help. Okay, what we're going to do first this time is put all the center pieces in. So we're going to basically make them go down in there so we can have more room. Because if we put some of the edges in first or some other ones that in these centers have to be connected to them, then it's going to make it harder to get the rest of them in. Okay, yeah, that's another way you can do that. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we need to, oh. yeah, we got to make sure that all these are pointing towards the middle so that we can get them all in correctly. Because if they're not in the right spots, then something could go wrong. All right, all right, now, now we got it in. Now, okay, now we've done the harder part of it, but now we got to put these edges in to keep them in place. Now, let's figure out the corner. We got blue and yellow. And that's right here. Put these in. And make sure they're rotated halfway to do it. Now we got to put in another corner. So, as you can see, it'll stay up much easier now. This has blue and, and white on it. So put that in, and now let's put some some more edges in. And if and it might not turn because it might lock up if something's blocked in the way, so be careful. Okay, now what we're gonna do is this time we need to put the corners in first. So look right here. So 
this goes here and this goes here. Now, take the last two edge pieces, rotate it halfway, and put one in. Now put the other one in. Now, I want you to check to make sure your corners are all solved so that it'll be solvable. And it looks like I'm good. So, and if you're someone who doesn't really know how to solve it and you need and you just want to put it back together in a solid position, then go ahead. But for someone who knows how to solve it, I highly recommend just um, putting it back together in a mixed up position. But corners just have to be solved. As long as your corners are solved, you're good. So, this concludes the tutorial.